What's up guys? Uh, something a little bit different today. Um, I thought I would just talk to you and let you know what's been going on, where I've been, and a uh, few of the things that are coming up. Right now I am headed to Dick's Sporting Goods because uh, about a week ago I sprained my wrist. I think it's a wrist sprain and uh, I'm looking for some gloves lifting gloves that that uh might have a little support so i can keep going to the gym and not hurt my wrist anymore jeez there's a lot of traffic for noon <clears throat> so i have actually been away for the past month uh, i was traveling and it was, it was super busy and if you follow on instagram you probably noticed that i was not posting to Instagram all that much and it wasn't self-imposed or anything I was just uh, I was just super busy and didn't really like have all the time for it <clears throat> and to be honest that little break from Instagram was was kind of nice I don't know for me like Instagram is, is kind of like a, a I have a love-hate relationship with it I mean it's great to, to connect with people and share what's going on and, and some of my favorite things and everything but I think it has it has that like positive power but it also has a very negative power I think it, it can make people very envious and um, it's not always it's not always such a good thing so I definitely in the past have spent way too much time on Instagram and this past uh, month where I, I honestly wasn't looking at it all that much at all it was very cleansing and uh, I mean it was just really nice uh, for for my own mental state like not having to think about what what I had to post and how many posts I was gonna do and you know just there's there's an element of in any kind of uh, social media or whether it's a blog or, or even YouTube where um, you know you kind of constantly have to feed the beast and it can even make it to it can even get to a point where it's not fun anymore and uh, <clears throat> that's not a good thing um, this should all be a lot of fun and taking a little time away from it was definitely refreshing and I, I think when I come back to it you know which I will for sure uh, it will definitely be a lot more fun for me at that point but you know I have <clears throat> there's also another part of Instagram that I really that really bothers me and that is I mean you guys probably know like it's not real I mean it, it is but it isn't a lot of times like what you see is, is just like the best most uh, curated part of, of someone's life and I mean that's really like the biggest thing that can contribute to it being like a, a negative thing that, that turns into you know just being envious and, and uh, stuff like that but um, but one of the, I mean, you've seen uh, recently that I've really been focusing more on doing videos and YouTube. And for me, like that is like the ultimate sort of like what you see is what you get. You know, there's no, there's nothing you can do to make uh, a video different than, than who you really are. Like, this is how I really talk. If you were sitting next to me, this is what we'd be talking about. And, uh, you know, you can't Photoshop a video things like that so for me I like it because it's a really honest and uh, real way to connect with you guys and that's that's what it's all about for me and um, I prefer it to be you know less BS and uh, more real and there's lots of traffic here for some reason <clears throat> So that's kind of been the past month, a little break from Instagram, kind of a break from, from social media, other than, other than the videos, but um, let's see, what do we have coming up here? So I guess, I guess the soonest thing is this weekend, Rob and I are going to be shooting some more videos um, for the YouTube channel. Um, have lots of great ideas, especially with the holidays coming up, lots of, lots of cool things to talk about and outfit video inspiration and stuff like that so that's coming up um 
let's see. Next, no, not next Friday. On the 29th, I'm doing a thing um, up in New York City. It's a dinner, and it's with Watches of Switzerland, which is a group of a lot of different watch brands. And so I'm going out for a dinner with them. Um, not sure. I mean, I'm sure I'll see a lot of the folks that I know, but I do know that the CEOs of Tech Philippe and Rolex are going to be there, so that's going to be really cool. Uh, there must be an accident up here or something. Um, that night, I actually have to come back to Baltimore because the following morning, I am doing a video shoot with Crown and Caliber. Um, we've been working with them a lot. Um, I'm excited because I haven't actually met them in person, though we've been working with them a lot recently. Um, they're coming over to the house to shoot uh, one of their watch stories with me. I'm basically just going to be sitting down talking about my uh, collection, how I got into watches, um, going through each individual watch. I know you, a lot of you guys have been wanting to see a watch collection video, and uh, I will definitely be doing one <coughs> myself on my own channel, but um, it's going to be cool to have the whole crew from Crown & Caliber there going through that. So once that is finished, I have to fly out that afternoon to Las Vegas for another um, Watches of Switzerland event. I was really kind of on the fence about whether to go to Vegas or not, um, as I have just been traveling a lot and, and all that. But um, the one thing that uh, really sort of tipped the scale for me into wanting to go is that there <clears throat> on display there will be the I'm gonna say this completely wrong I don't I don't uh, have a good uh, <laughs> accent but uh, the Beauvais recital 22 grand recital watch is going to be there there are only 60 in the entire world and they're going to have number one there and this watch is uh, pretty famous you should Google it if you if you um, don't know what this watch is, but it just won like the top prize in what is basically the the Academy Awards of uh, watchmaking, and it is something to behold. It's uh, seriously Google it right now if you haven't already and, and check it out. I mean, there's it's um, it's an astronomical complication, so it's it's completely those always completely blow my mind. They. Are, I just think though that's so amazing that someone that you can mechanically uh, manufacture the movement of the Earth and the Moon. But this anyway, this this watch has the um, the globe, and there's loom applied to the continents. So when it's viewed, uh, when it's charged and viewed in uh, no light, it's it's pretty amazing. So, but anyway, around the globe the moon rotates and there's all of this other stuff there's a there's a calendar on the back on the case back it's it's a fantastic watch and the the uh what am i trying to say here the chance to see it uh in the metal uh is really too much to pass up so i'm really really looking forward to to seeing that in las vegas so that'll be a quick trip. I'll fly out on Friday, uh, maybe late afternoon, early evening. I'll get into Vegas in that night and then have the whole day there on Saturday. And, and uh, Sunday is free time, so Robin will be coming with me. Maybe we'll get to do a couple of fun things other than look at watches, <laughs> uh, which, you know, is fun for me, but maybe not as much for her. Let's see, that's sort of what's been happening and what's been going on. and. You know what's coming up in the near future um, so yeah just a quick little check-in with you guys and uh, let me know if you like this kind of video it's very easy to do just put the camera up in the car you can have a uh, little commute together every now and then if you're into it so uh, let me know what you think and um, of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you guys next time as I change lanes. 
Come on, go! Oh my god.